Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to present to you the five best data labeling jobs you can earn money with in 2024, even as a complete beginner with no prior expertise in AI training or labeling data for a client whatsoever. So let's get started with data labeling job number one on our list, which is selling freelance services and the data labeling slash data annotation niche on freelance marketplaces such as Fiverr or Upwork, for instance, for example, for prices like $5, $15 or $20 per completed data labeling gig for a client. As you probably know, as a freelance talent, you are free to set your own prices and payment rates, which gives you a lot of flexibility, but comes also with some responsibilities, guys, bear that in mind, because you will be responsible for your own workload and thus for your own earning potential at the end of the day, week or month. Keep that in mind when someone claims out there freelancing would be the best and most profitable and easiest job or side hustle in the world. There are always pros, but also cons to consider. Anyways, I assume you're completely new to working as a data labeler online. So let me explain to you really quickly how this works in practice. It is actually super simple and can be done with very little skills and work experience. Take this example gig here I found on Upwork. Data labeling means you label data such as items in images, videos, texts, or audios by classifying or categorizing them, for example, by leaving annotations and tags next to them, by marking, outlining, and coloring them, for instance, if it's objects in images, video frames, or 3D animations we're talking about here. And the data labelers do this for AI training purposes, guys. Let me elaborate. You will get explicit data annotation and data labeling with 98% accuracy. So we see a light blue colored square or box drawn around that SUV on that example photo, right? Now, as a data laborer, you don't collect any data for the AI or for a client, but you label that data so that the artificial intelligence, such as various AI powered tools in the market, may learn how to correctly identify these objects or items, which in this case here would be cars or SUVs specifically in an image. Pedestrians, for example, have been given purple boxes or squares and so on and so forth. It is actually no rocket science. As said earlier though, freelance marketplaces are not the only places you can get access to data labeling tasks and jobs on the internet. There are also websites and apps that specialize specifically on AI training, data labeling jobs included, such as in that tab here, for instance. Either way, guys, before we continue, here comes a short reminder for you. Working as a freelancer is always risky because you rely on the task availability and on the demand for a specific service or job category on the job market. That's why it is recommended to add as many of these platforms, websites, and apps to your portfolio as possible. Don't do the mistake of putting all of your eggs into one basket. For example, by waiting for clients to hire you on Fiverr or on Upwork, I know that a lot of beginners in the freelancing industry make that mistake, falsely assume it'll do the job and after a while they become frustrated due to not receiving enough assignment and task invitations from clients. Then we got audio annotation tasks, a sub-niche or a sub-category of data labeling and that leads us to data labeling job number three on our list, Audio B. Well, Audio B features tasks in various job categories including transcription, translation, voiceover, recording and also audio annotation tasks or as they are called on their homepage, audio segmentation. Start earning with segmentation in three easy steps. Exactly. It is actually a real no-brainer, to be honest. Your client provides you with an audio file that can be anything, for example, an audio recording of a business meeting, a phone call, even the audio track of a video, and your task as an audio annotator would be to label what has been said on tape, for example, by person A, person B and C, and so on and so forth. And I don't mean transcribing the spoken word, guys. That's not what data labelers do. Instead, it would be a responsibility to annotate and to describe in one sentence or in just a few words what has been said and also how and to leave annotations next to the corresponding timestamp. So all you need for that type of data labeling job are some well-developed listening skills, English skills, some well-developed comprehension and understanding of English of course. Well it depends on the language of the audio at the end of the day. I've seen also audio annotation tasks here on Audio B in Hindi, Spanish or Tagalog for example. So a super simple and beginner friendly job, I'd argue. The downside of this is, though, these audio segmentation tasks don't pay too well, unfortunately. 
namely on average $7.20 per labeled audio hour. Not per hour you work, guys, but per labeled audio hour for a client. Then we got text annotation tasks. Yes, you can do these too, for example, on websites such as Nevo AI and simply label words and expressions in text and documents so that the artificial intelligence, such as chatbots or AI writers on the market, may learn how to correctly identify, for instance, specific language like bad language, for example, offensive language, but also specific groups of words like, for example, names of locations, of countries and cities, events, names of persons, or organizations, and so on and so forth. It is actually pretty different from task to task and depends pretty much on which industry your client is in or you offer your services as a voice recording artist and record audios to train various AI-powered voice recognition software or in-car systems. You can do that too, and all you need for that is the ability to read from script with a loud and clear voice, without making any spelling mistakes, of course. Which leads us to the last data labeling job on our list, the Toloka application. Get paid to do short tasks online, earn money wherever and whenever you want, all you need is a device connected to the internet. There you go. It sounds so super simple in theory, right? If you're completely new to using the Toloka app, don't worry because I'm going to explain everything in detail to you. Signing up on Toloka is entirely free. There are no sign-up fees and no hidden costs to fear. You can download the Toloka application either from the App Store or from Google Play. Choose a task to complete, work on your own schedule and as much or as little as you like. Complete a short training before that though, so that you don't approach this unprepared. And once you've completed a good bunch of tasks for clients, request a cash out withdrawal via one of the following payout methods, Papara, Kiwi or Payoneer. And what I like specifically about the Toloka app is that they have one of the lowest cash out thresholds in the entire industry. I mean, users can cash out with as little as two cents in their balance. So it's a tiny cash out threshold on the other end though, guys, we gotta be realistic here. These simple tasks, such as the aforementioned image and data labeling tasks, then we got taking photos, completing surveys, recording voiceovers, transcribing audios, and so on and so forth, are considered jobs with a low entry barrier, which means in reality for you guys, they can be done literally by anyone with very little skills and prior work experience. The downside of this is though, they don't pay too well usually, like a few cents per completed task at most per client. In some rare cases, maybe a dollar or two, but usually you get paid peanuts for completing these micro tasks, data labeling tasks included. I know there are countless reviews and tutorials out there claiming that earning money with the Toloka would be the best deal on earth, but believe me guys, I have tried numerous of these micro tasking apps and data labeling jobs and they usually don't pay too well, we gotta be realistic here. Not to mention that the task availability may also be a problem sometimes in these apps. That's why I can't emphasize often enough how important diversification is in this industry. I mean, they're crystal clear about the earning potential, the realistic earning potential in their FAQ section here on Toloka. Of course, your earning potential will depend on a variety of factors, including the task length, the complexity level, and the availability in the region or country you live in. But realistically, guys, you can expect to earn somewhere around $100 a month with these tasks, provided you contribute frequently, because completing a couple or only a few of these tasks per week or per month will most likely not bring you more than peanuts, I have learned. So guys, a realistic approach is absolutely necessary here if you don't want to be disappointed, right? So I'd say we stop here. Hope you enjoyed the video, got some real value from it, and I'll see you next time on our channel.